In the very first video of this series, I discussed some philosophical concepts, relative existence, absolute existence, etc. We'll have some more philosophical concepts to discuss, but not today. Tonight, I'm going to discuss morality. That seems to be the more, most pressing and practical subject to take up next. If you've been following the series, you realize that we don't accept any revelations as from God, and we have an idea of God as ultimate ground of existence. But what does that mean for morality? A lot of people, and I'll say specifically Christians since those I've interacted with, would say that if you don't have a personal God who wants things and doesn't want things, you have no basis for objective morality. The idea of objective morality is that certain things are right or wrong no matter what we think. So killing might be objectively wrong, even if we think it's right. And I think some Christians today would say that abortion is objectively wrong, even if we as a society allow it. The idea of objective moral values is interesting. People who argue that they exist and that God exists have a question to answer. If objective moral values exist, why hasn't God made them clear to us historically? Doesn't God want us to be moral? Now, someone might say God has made them clear and, and he's given us the Bible. First of all, he hasn't given us the Bible. Only a very small portion of humanity has ever had access to the Bible. Before the printing press, only the educated, the monks, could read the Bible. Besides, there are things in the Bible that today we consider immoral. For centuries, during the Catholic Inquisition, it was thought moral to imprison and kill old women who were thought to be witches. The Bible has a line, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. For centuries, in the south of the United States, slavery was thought to be moral. In fact, religious groups split over that issue, with some religious groups insisting that slavery was moral and in keeping with the will of God. A lot of groups today would say that abortion is immoral, yet there is nothing in the Bible that condemns abortion. Yes, there's a verse in Isaiah about before you were born I knew you in the womb. That talks about God's foreknowledge. I read a Catholic encyclical years ago where the Catholic Church admitted that Holy Scripture doesn't specifically address the abortion issue. But Holy Scripture does address what should be done to a child that curses a parent. It says very many places in the Old Testament that that child should be put to death. In fact, in the New Testament, Jesus cites those Old Testament laws with approval. He says something to the effect of, as God commands, honor your father and mother, and the child who curses parent must be put to death. That is, in, that is in the New Testament. Besides, he's responsible for the Old Testament laws too. If he and his father were one, then he must have been there when his father Yahweh inspired those laws to be written in the Old Testament about killing cursing children, and he must have approved. The point is, a lot of people think get their morals from the Bible, but they do not. It's as if, you might remember the story of the golden calf. Uh, Moses goes up on the mountain, and in the meantime, people worship the golden calf. Well, had Moses not come down from the mountain, and were the golden calf still worshipped, things wouldn't be much different. A few centuries ago, the priests would have been saying, the golden calf says, kill witches. And then after a few centuries, they would have said, the golden calf now says, do not kill witches. A few centuries ago, the priests or the reverends or the pastors would have been saying the golden calf says slavery is moral. Now they say the golden calf, they would be saying that the golden calf says slavery is immoral. It's comforting to believe your morals come from some revelation, but in my experience with Christians in the Bible, their morals really do not come from the Bible. They like to think they do, but they don't. They come from society. If I had a Christian neighbor who, say, was a devout Roman Catholic, his morals and my morals would probably be the same, except maybe he'd think it immoral not to go to Mass on Sunday. If I had, uh, I'm not sure what denomination, but some 
Christian groups still believe alcohol is immoral. So if I had that kind of neighbor, maybe I have a beer once in a while and he might disapprove of it, but overall our morals would be pretty much the same. There are some things which I believe should be considered immoral, which aren't. First of all, there's a lot of social justice issues. We go to the store and whatever's for sale, we buy. And if we pay for it, we think that that's fine and moral. Was it the product of slave labor? Were the, the people who produced that given a living wage? That doesn't seem to be on the radar of what is moral and what is not. If it's for sale and we can pay the money, that's it, end of story. Another thing, war. Christians have accepted war ever since Augustine expounded the doctrine of just war. But since that happened, I think about 1600 years ago, how many wars have major Christian denominations actually declared unjust and forbidden their followers from participating in? I once read that the Catholic Church in about, I believe, the 1500s forbade Catholics from fighting a war. But in that war, the troops were attacking the Vatican. We had the First World War, which should be called the First World Slaughter, where Christian nation fought Christian nation. Could that war have been just for both sides? In the Second World War, Italian-American fought Italian. Lutheran-American fought German Lutheran. Could both sides have been just? I once read an apology of the Lutheran Church. They said that they should have done more to fight Hitler and to stop Hitler's wars, but they shouldn't have apologized because major Christian churches since the time of Augustine have approved wars. The Second World Slaughter, also called the Second World War, I think the numbers vary, but I read once about 60 million people died. How many children suffered malnutrition? How many people lost limbs? How many people were psychologically damaged? We don't know. But for years, good Christians and good people of all religions felt it was their duty to either work in factories to make weapons to kill people or to actually take those weapons and go kill people. So, to sum up, I think that for morals, I'll just keep doing what I've been doing. I've gotten my morals from society. I try to lead a good life. I maybe do a few things over and above that other people don't do. I don't know. But I don't think morality is a problem because I think that we get our morals mostly from society and probably will continue to do so. Okay.